Hi everyone, I'm Engineer Hoist, and uh, as you might know, today they released Victorion and Minasaur into the game, which you know what that means? It means I can open up all of these crystals that I've been sitting on for the past couple of weeks. So that's what we plan to do during the stream. We'll go ahead and uh, I haven't actually haven't even uh, formed Victorion yet uh, because I've been saving that so I could do that on video for you guys. And uh, so, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that too. And then we'll go and see what kind of combiner spark that we can actually get from all of these crystals. So, hey, we got people joining the stream. SS Destron, yes, you were first. Good job. Uh, Cowboy Transformers, uh, I can't really see your profile pic too well. It's very small. Uh, King Gamer, Connell Novak, uh, uh, Rayquaza King, hey, I, th I think I got that right. Jake, good to see you. Razor Quake, uh, Alexander Rose there. Uh, Joseph Wanchok, or I'm sorry, Joseph. I, I, I can't talk tonight, and that, which is why I'm streaming. Uh, <laughs> Devil Knight, Shark Z, Camera More. Uh, all right, uh, this week's bundle is garbage. Well, I mean, if you're searching for uh, Optimus Primal or uh, or Beast Wars Megatron, it'd be good for you. And uh, I don't know if you caught it during the stream, but it uh, looks like uh, during the week we'll be looking at uh, Wheeljack or Shockwave. And uh, I might actually be jumping on that Wheeljack because I could uh, use a, a, a four star healer. Blitzwing, good to see you, buddy. Uh, one of our officers in our non-toxic gamers alliance. Jeremy plays uh, Bobby Withrow. It's Firemaster. Thanks for joining. Julian Valdez, sup, buddy? And uh, okay, Dusty the Duster. All right, good. Thanks for joining. Not joining up, every everybody. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and jump into the Combiner Lab. This is live now. Everybody is there, and I don't know if you noticed the, the stream. Uh, I was having a little trouble with my iPad, so I hopped on. Uh, to my phone, which is where I do most of my playing, so uh, I got a little space down at the bottom. <laughs> I'm just joking around, the space for rent. Uh, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> um, I, m I might uh, play with the way my stream is set up, I might do a little bit more with it. Uh, so we're, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, Boom 211 YT, good to see you, man. <laughs> Jeremy plays, he's broke because of this game. Uh, yeah, you can easily spend quite a bit of money uh, on this game, but you got to make sure you're meeting all your obligations first, because uh, remember, this is just a game, and it doesn't last forever. So, I mean, it, it's it's fun, and the and the money spending on it does help you get uh, a little bit farther in the game, but you got to make sure that you're meeting all your obligations. So, you know, it, it, it's, it really is just a game. It's a fun game, and I, and I love it, uh, but it really is just a game. Uh, Colonel Novak saying good luck for that four star rust dust. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, actually, I need to go back and get some energon because I don't even have enough for that. But you can see I'm just shy of uh, being able to get that four star because I'm missing that four star rust dust because I just got the three star there. Uh, fortunately, I have plenty of energon in my inventory. Uh, if I pop this 500,000, that should do it. That's from one of the past events. I, I've been holding on to all of that for just sort of an occasion. I actually had like 3 million energon, but I went uh, crazy last night uh, powering up my uh, power cores. Uh, so let's go back in here to the combiner lab. And without further ado, I use that phrase a lot. Is it annoying yet? Uh, but uh, let's let's go ahead and create three, store, three star Victorion. Boy, I really am having trouble talking to him, aren't I? Gregory Miller, good to see you. Oh, Connell Novak is just missing Skyburst. Oh, almost, almost there, buddy. There she goes. Forming her for real this time. Not on the test account like in that video I posted up a couple days ago. Boom, there she is. Victorion, three stars with the blade dash and the kinetic barrier. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my videos that I put up of Victorion and Menace, or you really need to go uh, check those out because uh, they were uh, per they were uh, covered all the bases and including uh, what she can do as level one and even as a, a level ten four star. We had her uh, in in battle there. Uh, and also, Solja and Lunar Fury put up a couple of good videos. Solja did a video on Victorion and Lunar Fury did one on uh, Menasaur. So definitely go uh, check those out. All right, so we've got Victorion unlocked. Oh, and look, we've got Story. Pyramagnuses, Rust Renegades. We've come a long way since we were humble torchbearers. 
We now serve the Mistress of Flame in our combined form of Victorion. Yeah, let's go righteously smite some unbelievers with our whirling sword blades, eh? Says Stormclash. Her sister, Skyber, says maybe less smiting. And more massaging with our gravity control powers. Our newfound might must be tempered with restraint, morality, and mercy, surely. Sister, I love you like, well, a sister. But you never fail to rip the fun right out of everything. <laughs> Pyromagnet jumps as says, Skyburst is right, Stormclash. We must fight only when other avenues of persuasion have been closed off, or they mess with our sacred relics, at which point they're scrapped. <laughs> hey, there's Rust Dust. Enough sermonizing. Let's combine and go mad, mental, crazy, in a, in a pious kind of way. Agreed, Rust Dust. Combine to form Victorion. <laughs> Very cool. Rodimus Prime the Victorion, I have new intelligence on the whereabouts of Lugnut. Right now, he's on our most wanted list. Ah yes, the one that got away. This time, he shall feel the full heat of our fiery wrath. Onwards! Renegades, you've made a believer out of me. <laughs> That was very cool. See, they didn't actually, even though we got a chance to take a look at the uh, combiners in the test, that we didn't see the story. So that was the first time going and seeing the story. So uh, that, that was pretty cool. Uh, Rust Dust, no, Pyromagna is the leader of the uh, of the uh, Torchbearers and the Rust Renegades. Uh, typically, when there's a combiner, whoever forms the torso is the leader, and uh, that is uh, Pyromagna. Rust Dust is, is a very important person on the uh, very important bot on the uh, team uh, but Pyromagna is the leader and, and in fact uh, I was reading in the comics it would think it was that annual 2017 uh, which came out back in December uh, back early on the team uh, Jumpstream and Dust Up were actually not on the team and they, they formed in this one battle and the team actually was led by Presidia Magna. In fact, that was one of the trivia questions in, uh, I think, not this past stream, but maybe a week or two ago, who was the leader of the Torchbearers before Pyromagna? It was Presidia Magna, which makes me think that Magna is actually the title of the leader of the Torchbearers. So, there you go. So, Pyromagna is the leader. And, and yes, Sharksy... Uh, that's one the one exception. Scra he says, saying Scrapper is the leader of the Constructicons, but he's the leg. Now here's the interesting thing. I don't think they've any they ever really established that Scrapper was the leader, although he did sort of speak for them and he did call for them to combine into Devastator. So he was sort of the de facto leader, uh, even if he wasn't necessarily really had a title. Uh, so I I. I tend to uh, view Scrapper as the leader, uh, just just like what you said there. And yes, it is weird because he's he's a leg, uh, whereas typically the leader of the combiner teams it forms the torso. So, oh, hey, Dirty Spot, I didn't see you in the, in the stream. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, agreeing with my theories, <laughs> however wild they may be. And uh, Colonel Novak, do I ask, and do I have the power of the primes, Rodimus and Optimus, or just one of the two? I actually do have both of them. They're not readily available here. Uh, they're in the other room, but uh, so, all right. So we got Victoria on there, but if you notice, there she's got zero spark. So let's see if we can try to fix that. I've got 87 crystals here to crack open, so we'll be here for a little bit. Jeremy Play says you got a girlfriend. Congratulations, man. All right, so in out so far in the event, I haven't played a whole, didn't have a chance to play a whole lot today, but I did get the two star crystal. So let's see what we get there. Well, well we're getting some Superion Spark. That's not the Combiner Spark we needed, but we'll take it. And uh, I did have a three star crystal uh, saved up, not from this event, but I had that a while back. So let's go ahead and crack that open, see who we get. Cheetor, so he doesn't help out at all. Just some regular old spark and some four star shards and a silver vitality power core, so that's pretty good. And we got 35 free crystals. We'll go ahead and uh, run through those. Now we do very good chance of getting one stars or uh, even uh, power boosts. 
but we'll go through because you never know you might get there's a silver bolt two stars giving us some uh, uh, superior spark so hopefully we'll see some rust renegades pop through while we do that <clears throat> sergeant Prowl prime good to see you man uh, Freddy Rivera rules <laughs> he's got, got a four star crystal right now yeah oh you're hoping for a grimlock or a rust dust you better not take my rust dust man you better not take my rust dust or I will come find you I'm just kidding good luck to you I hope you get who, get who you want hey see there we go one star storm clash that's our first 200 Victorian spark alright let's keep it going I mean, there's a prowl Razor Quake said he hopes they we add a Stealth Bumblebee Power Core. So what are you thinking for a Stealth Bumblebee Power Core? What kind of uh, ability is that going to do? And would it change his uh, look at all? What, what, what are you thinking for that one? Tyler is saying he just joined. Uh, welcome. I think Nightbot uh, knocked you out because you put too many exclamation points there, buddy. <laughs> Okay, I'm not even seeing what's, who's going there. I'm looking at the chat. <laughs> Dirty Spot saying he needs a four-star rust dust, but oh, you got a four-star primal. Congrats, man. Four-star primal is a beast, literally and figuratively. Uh, he really, he really starts to get good once you start approaching level 40, though. Uh, before level 30, unless that's about the same level as all your other teams. He's just going to die quickly because his health isn't very high and he jumps way out in front of everybody. So, uh, but yeah, once you get him le leveled up, caught up with all the rest of your uh, uh, bots, will be there. Uh, he'll do pretty good. Hey, there's some more uh, Victorian Spark. We got 400 this time from a dupe jump stream. Very cool. Hey, I saw William Neronis in here. Let's sacrifice an MP10 in the hopes of getting a Rust Dust. Ah, no sacrifices needed. We'll find her at some point. All right. If there was a five-star Prowl, what would be my opinion on him? I think five-star Prowl would be pretty awesome. I, I really like the ability from uh, Prowl and uh, Alpha Bravo because they're very much the same. And Long Haul and Brawl on the Decepticons. I think that's a really cool ability, and I think they would be an excellent five-star. Dirty Spot is saying, heard great things about Optimus Primal. He's been your unicorn. Uh, even have the maximal emblem on tattooed on your arm. Hey, that's that's very cool. Uh, Cowboy Transformers is saying his uh, new profile picture of, is of him unlocking Victorian. Oh, cool. Yeah, because uh, on the uh, on the uh, chat, it's it's about that big. You know, <laughs> you really can't see it. So th thanks for describing it. Oh, looks like we got a pyromagnet. Gives us a little bit more spark. Hey, before we get done with these free crystals, we might be able to go level or up to level two. That will cause a timeout, though. So, hey, we got a storm clash, too. The, the, that spark is just racking up. And so far, it's all just from free crystals. Five star shots. Five stars are five stars are very hard to come by, Dusty the Duster. Very hard because you only get those shards from duplicate four stars. Hey, more Victoria on Spark! Woohoo! Do I have a four star Prowl? I do not have a four star Prowl. In fact, he's the only one I'm missing to have the get the uh, four star Optimus Maximus. I've got all the other four stars for Optimus Maximus except Prowl. As we get some more Victorian Spark. That's what I'm talking about. See, and this is why I saved these crystals, guys. Because I knew they were going to be coming through a lot. Alright. Who Julian Valdez is asking, who is my favorite character in Transformers Earth Wars? Right now, I'm kind of liking Star Saber. Star Saber is pretty awesome. Uh, get, getting him leveled up and just the, the way that he that his ability he just causes lots of damage and stuns everything in his path and he's got a quite a long range uh, and, it, and it's wide it's about three buildings wide so he can cause a humongous 
amount of damage. Uh, which is one of the reasons why uh, for this new uh, Alchemist Prime Core, where you get health from the damage that you do, that's why I say Star Saber would be an outstanding bot to put that Alchemist Prime Core on. So, okay, so we got through all the free crystals. How much? How many spark did those free crystals give us? Let's go find out. 1600 just enough to get us to the level two very cool see it's always worth to crack open your free crystals all right so we've got 50 crystals left to go through and we've got a number of things to to go uh let's see uh reese rivera is asking what level is my star saber well that that four star that i got i just got him to i want to say 44 and like a level seven ability, he's he's <laughs> he's a beast. Uh, and uh, I also got a, a three star who's level forty seven, I think. His ability might be a five. So let's go, let's go with some premium crystals. I did I did save the uh, Rodimus Prime bundle, which also has Laser Optimus crystals and Strafe crystals in there. So ooh, a duplicate RC, and I don't know if that's going to be enough for a four. I'm real close to a four star crystal. I think that just gave me a four star crystal, guys. It did. So look at that. We're going to be opening a four-star crystal here tonight, too. And uh, probably another three-star crystal before the night is done. We're going to save that four-star crystal for the for the uh, end. I was hoping I'd get that four-star crystal. I had a feeling that I would get that before without even uh, finishing the event. I'm still planning to try to finish the event because you can't let shards go to waste. Ooh, Razor Quake's giving his, uh, his thoughts on the Stealth Bumblebee Core. They make it so it increases his damage and health and make it so the enemies don't see him for 10 seconds. That might be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Dusty the Duster says he had someone attack him that had four five-star bots. Yeah, I've had a couple of those teams come and they just level my base like it's nobody's business. SS Destron is uh, saying he's got a four-star prowl and he is good. Okay. Let's see. Jared Barbara, what's up? Razor Quake there saying he's got a two-star Cheetor. That's cool, man. First YouTuber to ever said uh, your name in the video. All right, man. I'm I'm, I'm honored to I'm honored to do that. Welcome back, Angry Transformers Games. Getting lots of Superion Spark tonight. There's a three-star Cliff Jumper with a Wallbuster Core. Woohoo! Oh, look at that! A three-star uh, Victorion Spark. That's 800 right there. Yeah. Sorry if I took anybody's Skyburst with that pull right there. Because I know some of you guys are looking for Skyburst. Okay, we got an Ultra Magnus there. Yeah, I think that was another three star crystal there for us there. There's a Perceptor. Jeremy Plays is giving cyber luck for hashtag four star rust dust. That's right. <laughs> There's a Huffer. Who is the best airbot in the game? Oh, that's a three star Huffer, too. Uh, the best airbot in the game, uh, most people will tell you Jetfire, and I'm not going to be one to argue with them. Uh, for the uh, Decepticons, that would be Starscream. Uh, he's uh, got a pretty high damage, uh, pretty high health, and uh, obviously by having a higher uh, damage ab ability, his special ability is uh, much higher. Plus, you can also get the Chrome Jetfire uh, power core to help increase his damage, so I, I think that would definitely push him over the top, because he's pretty close to Firefly. Uh, but if you can get that power core on him, that's spe specifically for him, you could probably push him over. Jake, enjoy your dinner, buddy. Get RC. There's a hot rod. Cup. <laughs> Cup chasing after hot rod, like usual. There's 
uh, in, in Springer, boy, this is kind of like the uh, Transformers the movie, huh? Cameron Moore saying he's got the silver Jetfire core on his three-star Jetfire. That's a good Jetfire to put it on, man. Yeah, I've got a Jetfire, three-star Jetfire. I don't have the four-star yet, but I've got a three-star. And he's approaching uh, level 50, and he is uh, he is a strong bot. Okay, we're almost done with these uh, premium crystals. Oh, I appreciate that, Dusty. I'm, I'm glad I can help you out. <laughs> what the heck, Mr. Pixel? You're saying the world's going to end in 2029? Yeah, just like it ended in 2012, right? All right, come on, man. Oh, I took your Skyburst, Colonel Novak? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Got to blame the random number generator. Where am I... Gobex, 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 Jobex, uh, Gobex. Sorry, I'm not sure how you want to say that, but uh, ask me, where am I from? I, I am in Florida right now. Okay, so that's it from the premium crystals. We did get a little bit of Combiner Spark. We also got a uh, three-star crystal. So we'll go ahead and get that. Normally I get that on my Decepticon side, but right now I am hoping for some Victorion Spark. So I'm using it on my Autobots. It's definitely a dupe. Hoping it's a, uh, it's a Spirit, Superion Spark. I was hoping for some uh, Victorion Spark there, but nope, I'll take, I'll take it though. And let's see, who are these crystals? These are Strafe Crystals. So let's go and see what we can get from Strafe. Will I play as Victorion? Yeah, I think we could do a run, run with Victorion. Okay, so we've got a couple of strafes here. Reese is saying, literally only need Onslaught for Bruticus and Rampage for Predaking. Uh, yeah, you know, Rampage isn't that hard. If you've got Dive Bomb and uh, Razor Claw, you're doing pretty good there. you got a pretty good chance of getting Predaking. Onslaught is a tough one to get. He's, he's basically the same as Skyburst. Hey, there's some more uh, Victorian Spark. Yeah, this, this is working out pretty nice. And some more. All right. Might be able to get to level three. But that would involve waiting a couple of days to get to level three. Yeah, there's a three-star strafe. That's some Volcanicus Spark. Uh, actually, that that's pretty nice to get, getting that Volcanicus Spark. I wasn't even thinking about that because I'm like this close to getting to level 11 with that Volcanicus. And there's a hound and one more duplicate it's a cup all right so let's go do some laser optimus crystals there's a perceptor there's a laser optimus hey, he's a big one isn't he Oh, another laser optimus. Now this guy, I don't have a four star of this guy, so wouldn't wouldn't mind seeing that. Not this time though. Thought about it, they said, "Nah, you're just gonna get the three star, which you already have." Four more chances though. Oh, lots of laser optimus crystals being uh, delivering the actual laser optimus tonight. And a cheetor. Close, you know, Laser Optimus, Cheetor, it, it's it's hard to tell between the two, you know. There's a back to Laser Optimus. Wow, another three star Laser Optimus. Ooh, a Silver Ray Boosters. Except for I think I've got Silver Ray Boosters on all of my healers. No, no, actually, no. I, I I I could I could actually use that. I don't think I have it on first aid. I think I got it on Ratchet and Wheeljack. Okay, one more chance. For laser optimus crystal. It's a smoke screen. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we've got four Rodimus Prime crystals. By the way, I don't know if you guys know it saw that, uh, but today they added Rodimus Prime and Motormaster to the normal crystals. So if you're pulling premium crystals, or uh, you could get a two, three, or four star Rodimus Prime or 
Motor Master if you're a Decepticon, and in Free Crystal, you can get a two or a three star version of Rodimus Prime or Motor Master. So good luck to anybody who's looking for Motor Master on the Decepticon side for their Menasaur. All right, so let's go see if we can find a four star Rodimus Prime or a four star Rust Dust. I uh, thought about it. Gave us Rodimus Prime. Just a two star though. Motor mouth. Uh, there's a three star jet fire. Oh, there's a chrome jet fire power core. I've got that on my three star. I don't use my two star much, but uh, I might hang on to that in case I get a four star. Let's see. Mm. Thinking about it. Oh, it's a fake out and it just gives us sea spray. Yeah, Laser Optimus is tough for outposts. He is one of, he is one of the good outpost bots. And yeah, one more Rodimus Prime crystal. Are we going to see those lights light up for a four star for Rodimus Prime? No. We get we get a duplicate skydive. Okay. So, ooh, what is that? Is that another three star crystal? Yes, another three-star crystal. Another chance for a three-star duplicate Rust Renegade for some Victorion Spark. No, we get more Superion Spark. We're getting lots of Superion Spark tonight. Oh, nice Rejuvenate Core. Okay, so we'll... And to finish off this massive crystal cracking, we've got a four-star crystal. So will we be getting the Rust Dust from this crystal or will we be getting some other four star crystal or will be we be just contributing to our next five star crystal sometime in the next year or so let's go it's five star shards okay but uh gives us lots of optimus maximus spark and another gold flak jacket power core which i've got about five thousand of those all right so Let's go into the combiner lab, see how much Victorion Spark we managed to get. Okay, let's see. and there's a Volcanicus. We still got a little ways to go before we can get him leveled up. Long way to go before we can get Superion leveled up. And uh, fair ways to go to get Optimus Maximus leveled up. And we got uh, 3200 uh, Spark for Victorion. I think we could probably get her to level 3. Uh, but like I said, we're not going to be getting her to level 3 right now, because then we wouldn't be able to actually go use her in battle, and I know you guys want to go see that. Alright, so... Let's see... William's saying, three and a half hours till the four-star Volcanicus hits level 9. Dropped a lot on Rodimus mixed bundles, not even a three-star. Ooh, They're really holding on to him and Motormaster. Yeah, I know, they really made those guys uh, be very uh, difficult to get, didn't they? Which is kind of kind of sucks for the uh, Decepticons, uh, seeing as how they need Motormaster for Menasaur. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and activate. I was trying to think, what were we doing? Okay, so yeah, so there, there's, there they are uh, compared to each other. Uh, Volcanicus is uh, way, way up high there, uh, but we're going to be looking at Victorion here. So this is le level one. Oh, wait a second. Before we do that, let me go ahead and get my team set. Make sure we want to go go in there. Oh, yeah, just uh, about six six days left, and then I'll have my 18, 18, 18 bot squad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, there's my Star Saber. If you want to see what somebody asked what level he is, there he is, level 45 and uh, level 7 ability. Alex is asking, do I think there are too many special class bots? Well, I wouldn't say too many, but one, one thing that I, I'm disappointed uh, is like, say, Skyburst is a gunner, but because she's a special class, you can't use the gunner power cores on her. For example, like the, uh, the Volatile Mixture, which increases the special attack. I'd love to put one of those on Skyburst, but you can't because she's a special class, not a gunner class, even though she's a gunner. So, I, it is disappointing sometimes, things like that. Um, and, and even, say, Grimlock. Uh, it, it would, I wouldn't mind putting, say, uh, one of those Trilithium Plating uh, power cores on him to protect him from the auto cannons because he's fast and he rushes in there. But, again, he's special, not a warrior class. 
So, so I wouldn't say too many, but it is kind of disappointing for some of them that it'd be in special class um, that uh, you can't use certain power cores on. It, I, I kind of wish the uh, certain power cores wasn't necessarily by the class, but maybe the style, like warriors or melee class. So even special class spots with the melee type of attacks would be able to use a warrior class core, or say a special class bot that's kind of a gunner style would be able to use a gunner core that that would be nice um but that's not the case right now uh so you, you do with what you do with what you got uh, let's see but i will tell you there are some good universal cores for example like uh, on the star saber you see i've got a rejuvenate on him that's a universal core you can use that on anybody and that rejuvenate works really well i've got i've got one of those on cup too i don't know if it's gold no i've got a silver rejuvenate because i didn't have any other golds uh, but I've got that uh, rejuvenate because it, it helps them stay alive longer it, when you so, when you try to solo with them and you get them to headquarters. Because uh, there's been times where I get to the headquarters, but I'm not quite out of range of one of the missile launchers, so it's still hitting me, still hitting me, still hitting me, still hitting me. But I'm just sitting there. I don't care because it's not damaging me, or it's, it, it is damaging me. But my rejuvenate builds my health back up almost as fast as the missile launchers are damaging me, so I'm e easily able to take out that. Uh, headquarters. All right, so Snarl is looking pretty lonely here, and you can't send one bot in. So we're going to go ahead and send in Firefly like usual, because uh, Snarl is real close to level 40. So we're gonna go see, see uh, we can get him uh, a fair amount of levels. All right, so let's see. Ultra Portal Master saying is Doctor 360 from the Alliance. Good to see you, man. You want to ask if... Okay, we're checking out the teams. It's your main team. Two-star Optimus, two-star Firefly, three-star Air Raid, two-star Rodimus, and three-star Perceptor. And you're attacking in the 2800 zone. Yeah, it's a pretty good team. Um, I, I don't know the rest of your uh, other bots to know if you have any other better team teams to put together, but that's a, that's a pretty decent team. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to activate... Victorian, and so now we are on the clock. We got to get in there. We got to get into battle. Yeah, we're going to use these guys. Hopefully, let's see. What was it? I tried Zone Six with her before and didn't quite get it done. So let's let's go to Zone Five. All right. Go ahead and uh, drop Snarl, and then drop Victorion. Going to reap the whirlwind, as Optimus Prime says. We're going to blade dash right over here to this. Woohoo! Stomp that. Okay, st sword smash it, not stomp it. But we'll go ahead and blade dash in here to the headquarters. I think we'll be able to take the rest of this stuff. And we will use the kinetic barrier to reflect that damage to any of these other things while also damaging the headquarters. And I will tell you, I'm going to miss not having that noble sacrifice because that is an amazing ability. That that four star ability is absolutely amazing. Kinetic barrier and boom, no problem. I think we might want to go into level zone six. Just so we can get more uh, XP for Snarl. Okay, so, okay, well, I'm running a little low on coins. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep this up. Uh, let's see, zone six, I said. Julian Valdez, my alliance is the non-toxic gamers. Okay, so. So let's drop Snarl. We'll drop Victorion. Crackshot's asking me to take a look at your base. Yeah, we could do that. It's going to be a little while, though, because we got Victorion activated right now, and we are on the clock, so we need to try to get as much as we can. Oh, and she's just out of range of that beam laser, because I'm trying to get to that beam laser. Walk one step forward, and there we go. Boom! Right over there. That is a quick run over there. All right, Kinetic Barrier, go ahead and shoot at me. Shoot at me. Ha 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 ha. Damage to all of you. Ha ha ha. 
All right, uh, smash on that mortar. We're gonna go ahead and let's see, go over back this way and get that one. Oh, and I missed out on those three. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna just not use the kinetic barrier right now because I don't think it's too much. There we go. Flame dash. Oh, and we are on the headquarters. We will kinetic barrier that though. Yeah, see, we see it's a l l little tough to solo the. Uh, Zone 6. Zone 5 definitely can solo that. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Snarl could uh, get that, and we're not anywhere near close enough to do the... Uh, I mean, he could, he could do this, but then that's wasting time. Because his, his uh, ability range is so short, he's, he's going to be stuck doing all of that... Uh, Harvesters down there. Meanwhile, Firefly's got a pretty good range, and we can send him over there and fire that off. Okay, one ability didn't quite do it. One more, and that'll take it out. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you like my hat? Where'd I get it? I got it at Spencer's Gifts in, in the mall, uh, I don't know, well three or four years ago. All right, so we got that. So now we're gonna have to uh, swap out uh, Firefly, because I don't want to coin him. He's gonna be too many coins. Uh, we'll put Stormclash in there. That's appropriate, right? Go back in there. We'll try Zone Six again, because I kind of lost sight of what I was doing there, because I was trying to destroy the whole base instead of focusing on the headquarters. So I, I think I kind of did that attack wrong. So let's try it again. All right, so we're gonna drop Snarl, and then we'll drop Victorion. The and we will blade dash to the beam laser. Boom, gone. Oh, not quite gone, but we'll stomp on it and it's gone. And kinetic barrier, causing lots and lots and lots of damage. Oh yes, and we damaged that mortar because they hit us while we were doing that. And blade dash to the headquarters, even though we didn't blade dash very far, we still did cause some damage to it. And we'll do another kinetic barrier here. Try to just do as much damage as we can in the time that we've been given. Back to the headquarters, do a little bit more. Smash, smash, smash. And we got another kinetic barrier here. We're taking it down pretty nice, pretty nice. One more blade dash, and then I think we can do it. I think we might have time for one more kinetic barrier. And, you know, I think we might get this, guys. Boom! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, just in time, too. All right, so get a little bit more, a little bit more. First and all that. Ooh, and we got 300,000 energon. All right. Get back into that battle. We'll go ahead and uh, get over and get Snarl again. We'll go back to Zone Six. All right, cool. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and I'm basically do the same thing. First thing I do is I drop Snarl, then I go reap the whirlwind by uh, dropping the, uh, <laughs> the the combiner and the beam laser sucks the life out of a combiner so that should always be like your first target because it's just like a constant stream and then just kind of damage whatever you can and since we're trying to basically solo this it's just time to just focus on the uh, headquarters the nice thing about the kinetic barrier is that while you're focusing on you are damaging the rest of the base because you've got that reflect ability so that's pretty cool okay we're still going we can, we're, we're looking pretty good here we got a fair amount of life left and that headquarters health is coming down pretty far boom Oh, it's sparking. It is sparking, and it is gone. Zone 6 again. You know, when Superion first came out and he was a level 1 3 star, I don't think he could actually handle Zone 6. Victorion is a strong, uh, strong combiner, guys. I, 
I'm not sure if I like her more than Volcanicus, because Volcanicus is just straight up awesome. But uh, Victorion it is, is really good, and I really do like Victorion. But uh, it's going to be hard to beat uh, Volcanicus. Okay, so Optimus Prime says you, you once napped for 16 hours? Wow. Yeah, you know, I think I've done that before. <laughs> Uh, so, man, sometimes you just get real tired, or, or you know, like if you're sick, I see somebody in, in here saying they're, they're feeling a little sick right now. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is, is just, you just gotta rest. You just gotta sleep and let your body heal. And uh, so, yeah, 16 hours, that's easy to do, if you're, especially if you're not feeling well. Ooh, kinetic barrier, I'll go take out that mortar. And we are hitting the headquarters a little bit, and damage that other mortar with the reflect ability. Cool, cool. Okay, let's see. Volcanicus will rise. <laughs> Sharks, are you heading to bed, man? Have a have a good one, dude. Thanks for thanks for joining the stream. I, I'm not gonna be too far behind you. I'm feeling a little tired myself. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, get Victorian formed up with you guys and uh, get these crystals and. Uh, so I definitely wanted to open all that stuff on the stream with you guys, and uh, so I was, it was itching, itching to open those crystals all day, but I, I had to wait. What combiner am I most excited for in the power of the primes? You mean the toy line? Uh, Anchor Transformers got to go too. All right, man. We won't be uh, staying on too much longer. I'm just going to finish up this Victorian run, then I'm going to be hopping off myself. Uh, I really just want to get on here and uh, form up Victorian and open some crystals, but uh, uh, you guys asked for I'm seeing Victorian in action, and I am happy to oblige. The world uh, but what combiner am I look excited for? Uh, the only real actual combiner, the, in the only real intentional combiner they're doing in... Uh, Power of the Primes is uh, Abominus, the, the Terracons, uh, that I'm aware of so far. I mean, I know they have uh, Alita 1 and Starscream. And, and, well, I guess Volcanicus was Power of the Primes too, wasn't he? But, uh, so yeah, I was pretty excited about Volcanicus. And, and uh, not only is he awesome in the game, he's actually pretty cool in, in the uh, toy form too. And I do at, did finally get all of the Dinobots. Uh, in toy form, and uh, I showed them off, uh, it was probably a month or so ago, uh, in one of the streams. Uh, I, don't, I don't have him readily available to show you right now, but, uh, oh yeah, uh, Freddy King is coming in Power of the Primes. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about him, too. Uh, I'm not sure the, the uh, I think he's going to be very similar to uh, Devastate, how Devastator was in the Combiner Wars, where the individual bots aren't going to be quite as good as everybody hopes they're going to be because they're making sacrifices to have a really awesome combined mode because he looks awesome combined so so yeah i th think I'm, I'm focused on the game i wasn't really thinking about the toys but uh, thanks for uh, reminding me yes Predaking king does look uh, pretty awesome and of course abominus i'm looking forward to uh, i have hunger and ripper snapper already yeah, they're both pretty cool. Haven't actually formed them up into... Haven't put uh, Ripper Snapper on as a uh, one-armed Abominus yet, but... Uh, Alex is saying uh, the Predacons look like G1 bricks on their own for the uh, Predacons. And yeah, they, they, they kind of do. Especially, uh, it was a Tantrum and Headstrong, the legs. They've kind of got the, uh, basically, the thigh of uh, Predaking hanging off their back. So, yeah. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and blade dash right into that headquarters and uh, use this uh, kinetic barrier. Try to kill everything that they can. Look at that beam lasers. It's, it's, it's falling with that kinetic barrier active. It's still, it's still sucking the, my health away though. You know, we might be able to take that out with a couple of kinetic barriers. How about that? Look at that. Oh, it's it's on me though, uh, and I don't have that. All right, fire it up again, beam laser. You're going down. Ha ha! Got it. Ah, uh, 
I'm not sure if we're gonna get this one. I think they had too many things pounding on me. Oh, see, we didn't quite get it. Oh, can we get this without Storm Clash? I don't know. Let's go ahead and fire up a Snarl, see if we, we can get that. I think that's going to be the last uh, run of uh, Victorion. See, he's a pretty decent level. I hope he's not distracted too much by Bludgeon over there and get killed by that Shock Tower. Nah, I think he's got that down. Good, good, good. Alright, so we'll go ahead. Don't go there. Go over here. Ah, see. Oh, this, this annoys me so much about the Snarl ability. All right, that got him. Oh, he's going the wrong way again. Oh, come on, man. Go to the headquarters, dude. Okay, I was able to hit the headquarters. Okay, he should be doing this. He should be getting this. Yeah! Yeah! Solo Snarl! <laughs> Beauty Beam Laser, he says. Well <laughs> Alright, I am going to go check. Maybe, still, even, even with all that, we might still get one more run. Oh yeah! Got a minute left. Not going to waste it. <laughs> Who's my favorite bot and combiner out on either side? Oh, look at this. I love this. They've got the headquarters like right straight out front. I could probably solo this with Snarl without Victorian on. But uh, who's my favorite bot and combiner out? In the game or toys? Hey, Don Powers. Good to see you, man. We went searching for uh, Rust Dust earlier and didn't, didn't manage to find her, or, or really any new bot for that matter, but uh, we got a fair amount of Victorion Spark. And we're just running running uh, the very first run of Victorion on, on the main account there instead of the test account. We're doing pretty good. She's uh, handling Zone 6 rather well. Especially when people uh, put their base like straight out in front thinking it's protected by this mortar way over here on the other side of the base. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Unless you're a Decepticon, then totally do that because I love attacking your bases like that because it makes it so easy. Okay, this one should be going down here pretty soon. One swing of the sword and it's gone. <laughs> RIP everything. That's right. Did I change my avatar? I did change my avatar. It didn't work out for me this time. But, you, but I think it was a combination of having the Snarl avatar and a Dinobot bundle. So I'm waiting for that Rust Renegade bundle. So if I keep my Rust Dust avatar for a little while, and when that Rust Renegade bundle comes out, I might have the luck then. Because I was just opening premium crystals, and uh, I had some Laser Prime and uh, Rodimus Prime and Strafe crystals, but Rust Dust didn't show up in there. But maybe when that Rust Renegade bundle comes out, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting one of those if for no other reason than for the uh, Spark. But uh, maybe when I get that Rust Renegade uh, crystal uh, that the avatar will help out you know I, I'm just noticing in the stream I, I happen to be kind of like waving my phone like this I had no idea that, it's, it, that the motion is actually changing the look of the base I had no idea that it did that until just now and you know I, I don't think it doesn't do it here but but when, when it had the uh, when it had this up if you look kind of the base behind it actually kind of Wet wags with the motion of the phone. I hadn't, I never noticed that. Probably because I never waved my phone around when I was <laughs> actually playing the game. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was pretty neat. So, and uh, yeah, so uh, let's go back into the lab and we'll see. There's uh, Volcanicus. There's Victorion. So, yes, I do have, uh, I'm still missing that four star rust dust in that one little spot right down there. Yeah, so we're stuck at the three stars right now, but I did manage to pull 3200 spark there and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kick her off on an upgrade. So that's an 18 hour upgrade for level two Leaves me with 2000 spark. I think I might be able to get to level three when she gets done and uh, I'm pretty low on coins, so I'm not gonna skip that right now So uh, I will finish the rest of my uh, event leveling with this bad boy so all right. OK, 
Cameron Moore is saying the. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Don Power is saying you could always go to Ireland and get a four leaf clover. Yeah, you know, it'd probably be cheaper to buy a whole bunch of Rust Renegade bundles than to actually hop on over to Ireland, though. Uh, so, <laughs> but, but I appreciate the suggestion. Uh, if anybody's in Ireland and want to send me a four leaf clover, uh, by all means do so. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cameron Moore saying they should do a Power of the Primes Motor Master. That would be pretty neat to see, especially if they can make him work with the uh, Combiner Wars uh, to, to kind of match the in game. Uh, uh, they don't really tie so much the toys specifically to the game. It's more the other way around. The game's trying to match the toys. Although they did went, go with more of a G1 motor master where he's like the full bot is the full cab and truck and trailer. Whereas Combiner Wars, it was just the cab. Uh, so it would be pretty neat to see in Power of the Primes if they made a more of a G1 style uh, truck with the trailer integrated and everything. And, uh, and, and then still made him a torso uh for for Menasaur, but I don't think that's going to be happening. Um, so okay, so yeah, I think that's uh, going to be it for the uh, the stream. And uh, so I, I I totally forgot that I left the, this space for rent up. I actually had another thing there uh, for <laughs> that I meant, meant to have that running most of the time. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, if you weren't here at the beginning of the stream, I'm, I'm actually playing on my uh, iPhone right now because uh, my iPad was giving me troubles uh, connecting to the computer to be able to stream, and that left a little space open uh, down at the bottom there. And I, I think that's actually pretty cool that uh, it'll, uh, I, I might actually do this uh, a little bit more because and take advantage of that extra space because uh, I might have might be able to throw some extra things up there. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna play around with it, you know. Nothing set in stone, uh, but uh, I, I thought that was pretty cool. I, when when I had to go do this, I saw a lot of XP. I couldn't leave it just blank, so I figured I'd go ahead and do that. Um, uh, they do have a story. It's getting a little late, so I'm, I'm not gonna be reading the story tonight. Maybe I'll do another video where I read the story. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, fire this off. I appreciate everybody who uh, joined in. I appreciate everybody who's who's uh, hanging out till the end. And uh, like I usually do, I uh, set this up for an end card for the video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and uh, do my sign off and uh, be seeing you guys later. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I go live or post a new video. You can hit that playlist to see any of my past videos. And you can always join the Non-Toxic Gamers Band channel and join in on the discussion. I'm Engineer Hoist. Keep rolling, my friends. Thanks for watching.